Have you ever wondered what hidden secrets of the past might be lurking right underneath your feet? Well, thanks to these awesome archaeologists, we are learning more than ever about our forgotten history. Yep, these epic discoveries will blow your mind and change the way you think about our ancient ancestors. This is the Terracotta Army. 8,000 warriors buried over 2,000 years ago. From the incredible mosaic dug up in a British backyard, to an ancient underground city found by a man looking for his missing chickens. These are the 20 most incredible archaeological discoveries. The Great Wall, China China just shocked American scientists with this. We've all heard of the Great Wall of China, but did you know that there are parts of this awesome structure that are still being discovered? Archaeologists in China recently unearthed the remains of a Great Wall fort that had been buried for hundreds of years. After being hidden for centuries, a spectacular discovery has been made in the wilds of Yulin City, China. The Xingping Fort, which dates back to the Ming Dynasty of 1368 to 1644 AD, has been unearthed and with it two courtyards and a host of artifacts. What's more, these artifacts are in remarkable condition, with a number of statues even requiring a light brushing to clean off the dirt. This is no ordinary fort either, as the Shanxi Academy of Archaeology has revealed that it served more as a hub of peaceful exchanges such as trade and fairs, rather than a military one. It's anywhere from hundreds to thousands of years old, and the Great Wall of China is an awe-inspiring feat of engineering and human endeavor. With its 12,000 miles of fortifications and even being visible from space, this latest discovery serves to remind us that it still holds many secrets, even after being studied and visited for centuries. Tutankhamun's Tomb now it's time for one of Egypt's biggest ever discoveries. King Tutankhamun was a mysterious figure shrouded in mystique and intrigue. Little was known of this young pharaoh until 1922 when British archaeologist Howard Carter chiseled into his undisturbed tomb and discovered its treasure-laden contents. This treasure provided an incredible insight into life in ancient Egypt and made King Tut the world's most famous pharaoh. But with the discovery of the tomb came a dark and sinister rumor. Many of those who had entered the tomb had died soon after, leading journalists to popularize the curse of the pharaohs. Although this theory wasn't true, investigations into the pharaoh's life revealed some disturbing facts. Tutankhamun was tall but physically frail, with a crippling bone disease in his clubbed left foot. He was the only pharaoh known to have been depicted seated while engaged in physical activities like archery. Inbreeding in the Egyptian royal family is believed to have been a major factor in the boy king's poor health and premature death at the age of 19. DNA tests published in 2010 even revealed that his parents were brother and sister, and his wife, Ankesinamum, was also his half-sister. So what was the true cause of the death of this mysterious ruler? We may never know, but one thing is for sure, King Tutankhamun's legacy will live on in the form of his incredible tomb and its treasures, providing a window into ancient Egyptian life that will never be forgotten. Rosetta Stone Where would we be without the Rosetta Stone? This mysterious stone changed the way we look at language forever. In 1799, during French leader Napoleon's Egyptian campaign, a soldier discovered a stone that would change human history. We are, of course, talking about the Rosetta Stone, a slab of black basalt that has helped us solve some of the biggest mysteries of humanity. This life-changing stone was found near the town of Rosetta and was engraved with ancient writing that the soldier couldn't decipher. Of course, experts that later handled the stone released exactly what it was they were looking at, the key to translating ancient hieroglyphs. Almost 2,000 years later, the damaged tablet was carved with passages written in three different languages, Greek, Egyptian, Demotic, and Hieroglyphs. The Greek text revealed that all three passages meant the exact same thing, allowing experts to decipher the meaning of these mysterious symbols, thought to have been lost in time. And just like that, archaeologists were suddenly able to understand exactly what it was they were seeing on all the walls of the pyramids and on the tombs of mummies. It's thought that this 3 foot 8 inch tall stone is just one part of a much bigger stone, and could have been made back in 196 BC during the Ptolemaic dynasty. 
It now sits on display in the British Museum in London, although many people have requested that it should be brought back to Egypt, where it was originally created. There's no doubt about it, the Rosetta Stone is one of the most significant historical discoveries ever made. Terracotta Army The Terracotta Army is without a doubt one of the most breathtaking sights of all time. This epic underwater army was only discovered in 1974. Yep, for thousands of years this enormous tomb was hiding below a humble farm in China, and nobody had any clue about the astonishing contents inside. Found by farmers, the ancient emperor Xin Shi Hong was buried in an extravagant tomb, the likes of which have never been seen before. Dating as far back as 210 BC, this giant crypt contains 8,000 six-foot clay soldiers, each as tall as a human, with ornately carved armor and facial features. Archaeologists have unearthed an entire ancient army buried under the ground, and they still have a lot more left to discover. This delicate task requires plenty of patience and care in order to preserve the fragile contents of the Qin Shi Huang tomb. And there are many areas of this subterranean kingdom that even the experts can't access, not to mention the fact that this creepy crypt is guarded by a deadly mercury-filled moat. Yikes! As if the life-size soldiers weren't scary enough already. Richard III's Grave What's the craziest thing you've ever found in a parking lot? Maybe a couple of dollars left behind, or some garbage that's been tossed from someone's car, perhaps? Well, in this parking lot in Leicester, England, an awesome discovery was made, one that has now been hailed as one of the most important historical finds in British history. Yep, researchers and archaeologists from the University of Leicester couldn't believe their eyes when they found the skeleton of a member of the royal family. Richard III had one of the shortest reigns of any British monarch, sitting on the throne for just two years, between 1483 to 1485. But that doesn't mean he wasn't a legendary king. Often described as a bloodthirsty tyrant, Richard III was the last king of England to die in battle, and he also passed many laws that still exist today, including the concept of bail. Evidence also shows that he enjoyed the finer things in life, living off a luxurious diet of wine, swan, crane, and heron. Wow! So what was this majestic monarch doing in a parking lot? Well, the modern building used to be the site of a church called Grey Friars, which was home to 13th century monks. It was here that historians suspected he was buried after being killed from two blows to the head in the Battle of Bosworth before the church was demolished during the reign of King Henry VIII. Since finding the grave of this iconic king, experts were able to learn more about Richard, including the fact that he is related to British actor Benedict Cumberbatch. Yep, they are actually third cousins 16 times removed. Who knows what else might be hidden in the parking lots of the world? Olduve Gorge Unraveling the secrets of the Serengeti in Tanzania, the renowned Olduve Gorge was discovered in 1911 and later excavated by Mary and Louis Leakey from 1935 onwards. Yep, this African destination is one of the most important places in human history. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area has become a hotspot for exploration of the ancient past with the Serengeti Plains providing the perfect backdrop for the largest annual wild beast migration on the planet. But it's not just wild beasts that have roamed these lands over the years. The Leakeys made a groundbreaking discovery, two skull bones with the lower jaw of a child, thought to be the first fossils of Homo habilis, otherwise known as the handyman. This early human boasted a bigger brain, more refined jaw, and smaller teeth than their predecessors, and is thought to have made an evolutionary leap with the use of primitive stone tools to process food. Without the need for heavy jaws and bigger teeth, Homo habilis developed more refined facial features. To date, at least 60 hominids fossils have been found at Olduve Gorge providing a timeline for human lineage that stretches back 2 million years, right up until 15,000 years before present. It's pretty clear that Africa is the original home of humans. Cave of Altamira Ah, the majestic and mysterious Cave of Altamira. This incredible site is located in the north of Spain, near the bustling town of Santillana del Mar in Cantabria. This awe-inspiring wonder of the world declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985. 
is a must-see for any traveler. Its winding passages and chambers stretches a whopping 270 meters, with the main passage reaching a towering 6 meters in height. Archaeologists have dug through the depths of the cave, discovering artifacts dating back to the Gravitian period, roughly 22,000 years ago, and all the way up to the Middle Magdalenian, which is roughly 16,500 and 13,000 years ago. After a rockfall sealed off the entrance 13,000 years ago, the cave lay forgotten until its remarkable rediscovery in 1868. And as you can see, the art found within the cave is incredible. Ancient artists used ochre and charcoal to create stunning drawings of extinct steppe bison, horses and large doe and even a wild boar. The polychrome ceiling is especially impressive with its three-dimensional effect etched into the walls by these ancient artists. Unfortunately, the artwork has been damaged by the breadth of the large number of visitors during the 70s and 2000s, so the cave was closed off to the public in 1977 and reopened to a limited access in 1982, with only a few visitors allowed in each day. The waiting list to enter the cave quickly became three years long. After green mold began to appear on some paintings in 2002, the caves were closed to the public access once again. Yep, if you were hoping to visit this awesome ancient art gallery, you're out of luck. Dead Sea Scrolls the story of the Dead Sea Scrolls is a mysterious one indeed. In the late 1940s, a group of Bedouin teenagers were out tending to their goats and sheep near an ancient settlement known as Qumran. One of the young shepherds decided to toss a rock into the nearby cave opening, only to be surprised by the sound of shattered pottery. Upon entering the cave, the teenagers found large clay jars, seven of which held leather and papyrus skulls. After news of the discovery spread, Bedouins and archaeologists soon unearthed tens of thousands of additional scroll fragments from the ten nearby caves. Altogether, these manuscripts totaled between 800 and 900. One of the most interesting was the Copper Scroll, a treasure map of sorts that listed dozens of gold and silver caches hidden around Israel. Yep, treasure maps don't only exist in the movies, they are found in real life too. Unlike the other manuscripts written in ink on parchment or animal skins, the Copper Scroll was made up of Hebrew and Greek letters etched into metal sheets, perhaps to better survive the test of time. Using an odd vocabulary and spelling, the Copper Scroll described 64 underground hiding places containing stashed riches. Unfortunately, none of these hoards have been recovered yet. This is one historical mystery that remains unsolved. Easter Island Moai in the Pacific Ocean at the most southern point of the Polynesian Triangle, there is a mysterious island that is known for its giant ancient monuments. Yes, the Easter Island heads are one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. No one knows why they were built or what they were meant to be, but there are almost 1,000 of these phenomenal structures located all around the island. Known as the Moai, it's believed that they were sculpted by the early Rapi Nui settlers of the island, a group of ancient Polynesian people who arrived on Easter Island around 800 CE. The island itself is one of the most remote islands on the planet, over a thousand miles away from its nearest neighbor. It's amazing that they chose to travel all the way here, sailing over a vast ocean to reach their final destination. The stone heads are carved out of volcanic rock and measure a whopping 13 feet tall and 14 tons on average. Incredible, right? However, it seems like these spiritual statues did not bring luck to the island. In fact, the Rapa Nui people met a terrible fate, and the island's fragile ecosystem was destroyed either by excessive logging of trees or an invasion of Polynesian rats gobbling up vital resources. Either way, not much was left behind, except for the giant Easter Island heads, of course. Very mysterious indeed. Staffordshire Horde Have you ever found anything spectacular? Well, in September 2009, the Staffordshire area was thrust into the spotlight, as the most incredible archaeological find of all time was unearthed from beneath the soil. Terry Herbert, a member of the Blockswitch Research and Metal Detecting Club, discovered the hoard of gold artifacts on July 11, 2009, when he was searching a plowed field near Hammerwich. Over the course of the next week, 244 gold objects were found, and within months, the total number of items discovered had risen to more than 4,000. It remains the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold ever to be unearthed. 
The world was made aware of the Staffordshire hoard on September 24, 2009. As news of the discovery spread like wildfire and the international media descended on the small town, most of the items recovered were related to war and weaponry, including sword hilts and collars, and it provided a wealth of new information about Anglo-Saxon life in Britain. One of the most notable pieces found was an ornate helmet fit for a king, alongside over 1,000 other pieces that had been bent or warped, as if they had been forcefully stripped away from their original object. It is believed that the hoard was collected as a trophy from one or more battles and was buried either for safekeeping or as an offering to pagan gods. This is one seriously mysterious discovery. The Staffordshire Hoard continues to be on display at the Potteries Museum of the Tamworth Castle, allowing visitors to marvel at this incredible find from the past. Imagine finding this much gold buried in your local field. We just might take up metal detecting as a hobby. Roman Mosaic This magnificent mosaic has gripped the entire world. The discovery of a mysterious Roman villa tucked away in sleepy Rutland was an extraordinary archaeological find. The landowners had stumbled upon pottery and tile fragments, which piqued their interest, leading them to uncover a stunning mosaic. This mosaic was the floor of a triclinium, a luxurious dining room from the 3rd or 4th century AD. Here wealthy Romans would toast their guests with fine wine and dine them in style showing off their wealth and their affinity with the Roman lifestyle, and in this case, their knowledge of classical Greek literature. The mosaic depicted a grim story from the end of the Trojan War, as famously written by Homer in the Iliad. Across three panels, it depicted the epic battle between Greek hero Achilles and Troy's prince Hector. And the gory aftermath of Achilles' victory, this mosaic is an incredible find. It's the only representation of the Trojan War in Roman Britain and it even tells the story in form of a comic strip. On the southern side, the archaeologists also found remains of a bath suite, three rooms, a hot caladrium, a medium tepidarium, and a cold frigidarium, featured underfloor heating and a water tank that may have been used to collect rainwater. Yep, these Romans really were living their best life. What a magnificent discovery. Chalk Sculpture this ancient drum is truly remarkable. Archaeologists were excited to find this mysterious artifact buried in a long-forgotten graveyard. A 5,000-year-old round earthen sculpture of soft stone intricately etched with symbols and motifs lost to us from the Stonehenge times. On Friday, the British Museum proudly declared the discovery of this incredible piece of prehistoric art as the most important to be found in Britain in the last 100 years. Mark Allen, founder of Allen Archaeology, who uncovered the grave and the drum, spoke to the Washington Post about the geological imaging which had revealed the circular burial mound, or burrow, dug into the chalk. The grave contained the remains of three children aged 3 to 12, and the precious Burton Agnes sculpture was found next to the oldest child's head. Could this have been a funerary offering or a talisman? Alongside the drum was a long bone pin and a clay ball, possibly a toy. The carvings on the drum, spirals, triangles, and an hourglass-shaped butterfly motif match several other mysterious objects discovered from this era. Through radiocarbon tracings, the archaeologists have determined that the grave dates back to the time of the construction of Stonehenge between 3005 and 2890 BC. What's the story behind this mysterious drum? We've got no idea, but we hope that this is one historical mystery that gets solved in our lifetime. Ancient Sanctuary This discovery of an ancient sanctuary hit the headlines, shocking archaeologists around the globe. On a hot and humid September and October, an intrepid team of archaeologists were on a mission. As they unearthed the soil, they were amazed to find something extraordinary. Two dozen perfectly preserved bronze statues of human figures, more than 2,000 years old, buried in the hot mud and waters of an ancient and sacred pool. This historic find took place at the hot springs of San Cassiano di Bagni, a picturesque Tuscan town surrounded by lush green valleys and majestic cypress trees. Little did they know that this site was the site of a sanctuary built by the Etruscans in the 3rd century BCE. The discovery of these figurines and coins included bronze statues, has experts saying that it will rewrite history. 
Italian authorities have announced the fine, stating that it will significantly change what we previously knew about the evolution of the Etruscan civilization to the Roman Empire. These historic treasures, which range from full-body figures to individual body parts, likely would have been offered to the gods in exchange for medical healing from the thermal waters. This is also the largest deposit of bronze from this era in Italy, since most surviving antiquities are mainly made from terracotta. Truly an amazing discovery. 9,000-year-old shrine discovery. Jordanian and French archaeologists are celebrating an amazing discovery. After months of hard work and dedication, they were able to uncover a stunningly preserved 9,000-year-old shrine at a remote Neolithic site in Jordan's eastern desert. This incredible ritual complex was found near large structures known as desert kites, which were believed to have been used to corral wild gazelles for slaughter. The shrine contained two carved standing stones bearing anthropomorphic figures, one accompanied by a representation of the desert kite, as well as an altar, hearth, marine shells, and a miniature model of the gazelle trap. The proximity of the site to the trap suggests the inhabitants were specialized hunters. The site is unique, first because of its preservation state, said Jordanian archaeologist Well Abu Aziza, co-director of the project. It's 9,000 years old and everything was almost intact. The discovery of this ancient shrine has been a cause for celebration for the archaeological team and a reminder of the amazing things that can be found when you look beneath the surface. Ancient shrines in the desert? Who knows what else might be out there right under our noses? Sprawling underground city in Turkey Imagine finding a city underneath your nose. Well, that's exactly what happened in Turkey. This mysterious ancient city of Elungubu, now known as Derinkuyu, was discovered in a rather unusual way. A local Turkish man was renovating his home when he found that his chickens kept disappearing into a small crevice created during the remodel. He decided to investigate further and upon closer inspection, he unearthed a dark passageway. Little did he know, the passageway would lead him to the largest excavated underground city in the world. Stretching for hundreds of miles, Darin Kuyu is an incredible 85 meters below the Earth's surface and is made up of 18 levels of intricately connected tunnels. It's believed that more than 200 small separate underground cities in the region may be connected to these tunnels, creating a massive subterranean network. When excavations began, it was revealed that the city contained a plethora of cave-like dwellings, dry food storage, cattle stables, schools, wineries, and even a chapel. Darin Kuyu was in near constant use for thousands of years, changing hands from the Phrygians to the Persians to the Christians of the Byzantine era. During its peak, it's estimated that the underground city was home to nearly 20,000 people. Yep, this is one amazing discovery that has officially blown our minds. Gobekli Tepe Thought to be the world's first temple, this miraculous structure was built a whopping 6,000 years before Stonehenge. Yep, archaeologists reckon that Gobekli Tepe in Turkey was constructed around 11,000 years ago, predating the invention of tools, pottery, the written word, and even the wheel, with some columns that measure up to 16 feet tall and weigh around 10 tons. This would have been no easy task. Their construction alone is incredible, but even more astonishingly, pictures and symbols have been carved into some of the rocks, depicting lions, scorpions, and vultures. It's these vultures that lead researchers to believe that Gobekli Tepe may have been the place of worship for an ancient death cult, or perhaps a kind of cemetery. In fact, over 100,000 animal bone fragments have been excavated here. Very mysterious. Other experts reckon that this might have once been a lush meadow with many rivers, leading religious figures to wonder if this could have been the location of the legendary Garden of Eden. Scientists have been using radar and geomagnetic surveys to figure out what on earth was going on here thousands of years ago, and they have discovered that at least 16 more hidden circles are buried under the ground, and there are still many more acres of land left to explore. One archaeologist even said that they could dig for 50 more years here and still not unveil all the hidden secrets of Gobekli Tepe. Antikythera Mechanism Long before smartphones and laptops, there was a device that was said to predict the future and make advanced calculations. Are you ready to unravel the mysteries of the world's first ever computer? Discovered centuries ago in a shipwreck deep below the Aegean Sea, this ancient device left experts scratching their heads. 
That is until 1975, when researchers finally made sense of it all. It's widely accepted that the astonishing Antikythera artifact was the world's very first computer. But who did it belong to, and what was it doing at the bottom of the ocean? This remarkable machine was carefully crafted with a series of dials and gears to predict astrological events. It's thought to be thousands of years old. Believe it or not, it was even inscribed with zodiac symbols, ancient Egyptian calendar dates, and marked lunar and solar eclipses. Not to mention the Olympics. With an accuracy of within one degree of planetary movements, the Antikythera was at least 1500 years ahead of its time. When it comes to the deep sea discoveries, this ancient computer etched with undecipherable symbols has really blown our minds. Burrow Booter Welcome to Burrow Booter, one of the most awe-inspiring temples in the world. And even more shockingly, it was totally forgotten for centuries. In the 9th century, the Sileandra dynasty had a grand vision to construct the world's largest Buddhist temple. Borobudur blossomed only to be abandoned in the 14th century when Java's Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms were relinquished. Buried beneath layers of volcanic ash and jungle growth, the temple lay untouched for centuries. It was not until 1814 when Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles, the British Governor General of Java, stumbled upon the Grand Temple that the world was finally made aware of its presence. Comprising of nine stacked platforms, six square and three circular, and topped with a central dome, Borobudur is adorned with 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. Around the central dome, 72 Buddha statues are seated inside perforated stupas. There's no doubt about it, this place is simply stunning. Even today, Borobudur remains a popular pilgrimage destination for Buddhists, particularly for Vesak Day. It is no surprise that the spectacular temple is Indonesia's single most visited tourist attraction. We're just glad that it was rediscovered so the whole world could enjoy it once more. Pompeii in 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted in Italy, spewing molten hot lava and ash over the city of Pompeii, brutally killing its inhabitants but leaving intact human remains. These sorry skeletal figures were hidden in ash and dust until an excavation team unearthed Pompeii in 1738. Now you may have seen the creepy corpses of this infamous city before, but did you know that their preserved appearance is actually the work of an Italian archaeologist, Giuseppe Fiorelli, who took over the historical site in 1860. He realized the remains of this deserted town actually had soft cavities and filled them with high-grade plaster to create the ghastly mummies we have seen in the media. And so the plaster bodies of Pompeii were born. Many can be seen contorted in fetal positions, shielding themselves from the eruption, even screaming for their lives with expressions of pain frozen in their faces forever. This unique nature of these fossilized citizens have allowed scientists to investigate a number of unanswered questions. How exactly did the eruption kill people? What kind of lives did people in 79 AD lead? And what kind of city was ancient Pompeii? Without the preserved cast, we may never have known. Chichen Itza, Mexico Are you ready to explore the historic Mayan city of Chichen Itza? This famous city on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico not only attracts tourists from all over the world, but also continues to be an active archaeological site. New discoveries are being unearthed all the time, giving us a better understanding of the culture and accomplishments of the Mayan people. In 1988, Chichen Itza became a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and in 2007 it was voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. Could you believe it? This amazing city covers almost two square miles and is packed with commercial, residential, and other structures made of stone. It even had its own suburbs and a network of almost 100 paved roadways and sidewalks, before many European cities even had paved streets. At the northern end of the city lies a large cenote, a natural spring of immense ceremonial and archaeological significance. After long rumors of human sacrifice, the cenote was dredged in the early 1900s, yielding many precious artifacts as well as human remains with bone marks and wounds that indicate they were killed before being thrown into the cenote. Yes, the world is a mysterious place, and we've only just begun to scratch the surface. Thankfully, we have the hard-working archaeologists of the world to help us uncover the secrets of the past. So, which one of these amazing revelations had you saying, no way? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. 
And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.